Hello everyone, welcome to the next video on the beginner's guide to M query. Simple start with basic. You're with DevKLearner, a bit forward daily. So today uh, we are going to start transforming data we connected to OData in the last video. We'll use Power Query Editor to clean and shape the data step by step. And we'll also understand how these actions are recorded behind the scene using M query. Before I work on it, if you are new to our channel, do subscribe to our channel. And if you feel uh, this is helpful to someone, please share with them. And you can like and subscribe to the channel as well. So uh, we have covered all those topics. Today we are working on clean and transform O data in Power BI. So in this, what we'll be doing is we'll be transforming and shaping O data using Power Query Editor with M Query Tracking. And we will be covering these steps. Like the first thing is you need to open the Power Query Editor. Then you need to rename the columns. Remove unwanted columns. Filter rows. Change data types. And add custom columns. And then review all those steps in the M. So very quickly, I'll, I'll start with the Power BI desktop. If you have not downloaded it, you can download it on from the net free of cost. I'll create another video for that. The first thing is to get the data. So I will click on get data. And in the get data, I'm going to use the same data set that we talked yesterday. That was Northwind OData feed. So I'll first go into this place and look for OData. So I'll just type in OData here. Once I've done that, I'll click on OData feed. Then paste the URL and click on OK. From the navigator, I'm going to select three columns. The name of the columns is customers, orders, and order details. And I will click on transform data. This will open up the Power Query Editor. So this is the Power Query Editor. I can see three different queries. And for each query, there are applied step here on the right side. You can see the properties, the name, and you have the applied steps here. So the source, it is giving you the total source. And then it is navigating it to the particular table. So the source will remain the same for all the three tables, but they will be pointing to a different table in the database. Now, let's start with the first thing that I go to customers. But in the customer, I see the company name. I think that's not correct. So I want to change that to customer name. Having done this, when I click on it, you will see the customer name being renamed. And there is a step being applied here, which says that you are changing the name of, of the column called table name. You are renaming the column in the customer table with the column name, uh, with the name of customer name. And that's what we have done in the first one. The second is the filtering the row. So we require only the countries. Uh, we require the data for only the countries which are related to uh, US or might be Germany. So I'll, I'll go with the, I'll click on this drop down list and I will put the filter and I will unselect all and I will select only Germany and click on okay. So now you will see that it will only show me the data of the Germany and it has added the filters row. And this would be the only data that would be available to me. Now I see uh, in this particular table, I have a section of region which is empty. Do I require it? I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right click and I'll say remove. So I've removed that column and you see that there is a step being added it says that you have removed the column. Further going down, I see that uh, there is a column with the name of order date, and that would be in the orders table. 
So I see that the order date is in the format of date time time zone. I just want the date part of it. So I'll just change it to date. Similarly, I'll change it for the required as well and the ship date as well. I don't require all the things. I just require the date. For this, I've put in date time. I can change it to only date as well. So it has up placed in the applied step. And you can see that it has changed the data type. So now if you see here, some of them are showing with this wheel symbol and some of them are not showing with the wheel symbol. The items which are in the applied step which are not with the wheel symbol, you will not be able to edit them. As in, you will be able to edit them, but um, it will not open up the dialog box for you. You can edit them by writing down manually in the code. Then uh, let's, if, if, I, if I go to the order details table and I see I have quantity, I have the unit price, but I don't have the total cost. So what I can do is I can create a simple column. So I can go to a column and in the column, I have various different options there. I'll be talking about them, but this time I'll just talk about the custom column. So once I click on the custom column, I can give it a name with whatever name I want. I'll name it as the total amount. So what will be the total amount equal to? It would be equal to the unit price multiplied by the quantity. And I'll click on OK and you will see that there is another column being created with the total amount. And the formula is that unit price into the quantity. After doing this, right, um, if you want to write down your own queries as well, you have an option of advanced query editor. We'll talk about that later, right? But that you can find in the view and you can see the advanced editor here. I'm just showing an example in which it will be showing you all these steps, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you this um, in, in the advanced course. So this is all the transformation that I wanted to do. I will just click on close and apply and all the changes that I've done in the background would, would be entering here in the data set. Or in the data table and you will only see the data table which has been which have that values applied to it. So if I go to the table view, I can see the tables in the customer. I only see the values for Germany. I don't see the region. If I go to the order details, that's the total amount which I'm able to see. And if I go to the orders, my all of those order dates, required dates and ship dates are in date format. With that, um, I come to the end of the concept that I wanted to show you. In the next part or in the next video, we'll be working on uh, on transformation of the data. Furthermore, and we'll be also talking about the relationships. So just to recap what we have covered, we have covered renaming the column, removed unwanted fields, we have filtered rows, changed data types, created a custom column. And then uh, we saw that everything that we do in the M query is tracked in the applied steps. So next video would be on merging queries and referring other tables. Um, if you are enjoying the series, get it, give it a like and subscribe for more hands on the Power BI learning. And if you uh, think that it can help somebody, please share it with them. And don't forget about the free Sunday Q&A &A session, which is held on every Sunday between 12.30 p.m. to, to 1.30 p.m. IST. I'll give you the link in the description and register for our data modeling webinar, which is on 15th June, 10 a.m. Thanks you, thank you once again for watching this video. We'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.